Hello and welcome to my movie database pagination tutorial. Um, I recently was assigned this um, movie database API um, for a code challenge for a job interview. Um, and one of the things I was unable to get to was the data pagination for um, that code challenge. So I kind of wanted to do a tutorial. I know data pagination is probably new, especially diving into an API for a lot of people, a new API. So it was something that I was unable to get to, um, but can it actually, at least with the movie database API, is uh, pretty simple to set up. So currently I'll give you a look at what I've got so far. We have our little movie theater screen and every time we type in um, movies, it'll filter all of our movies out here and it gives us the top 20 movies. So I'll pop open this and I will show you uh, we have in our state the top 20 movies here. Um, but obviously there's probably more wonder movies than 20 and that's the issue we're trying to solve with pagination, being able to click this next page and get the next page of movies. Um, Cool, so without any further ado, we can pop into the code. So what I have here is I have my fetch request. Um, we're just taking my URL up here, my uh, hidden API key, it's taking this language, um, US, the query, which we are passing in through here, um, and our filter function is doing that for us, um, and then calling our fetch movies uh, function with the query that's stored in the state, um, essentially what you're typing in. Um, so it's a it's a live filter, and then that would that's working for us just fine. But then in order for us to get pagination going, we got to use um, have to specify the page within the URL. So we can say and page equals, and then currently I have in my state our page number here. Um, which is set to one. And then from there, we are also saving um, the current movies in our state and the total pages in our state, um, which you will kind of see why we want the total pages a little bit later. So down here, like I, like I showed you guys, we have the previous page and the next page buttons. And they are set to on click functions here just to kind of get give us a little head start. Um, so we can start with the next page function. So let's keep a short feedback loop here um, in console.log, let's just say hello. Um, and so it'll update here, but in our console, every time we click next page, we should see hello. Good, that's what we wanna see. Awesome. I'll take this out, state down movies out here. So from here, we want to, um, we want to set our state to a page number, the next page number, right? So we'll just want to continue to increment our state um, with this next page click. The, uh, but I would say the first thing we want to do is we want to check if there are even movies in our state, right? So let's say if this.state.movies now we now we'll set our state. So this dot set state, right? We want to take our page num within our state, and we'll just want to set that to um, the basically increment that by one um, each time it's clicked. So now let's see if that's working for us here, and we'll console dot log it out. Um, so we'll say this dot state page num, right? So we'll pop back over here. Boom, we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Awesome. So that's what we want to see. And now I believe the next thing we can do um, would be calling just like we did here. Uh, we can basically take this line and just recall fetch movies with the same query but now the state has been updated. Um, so we'll save that. And now let's see if we can get this to work. So see woman, boom, we're getting um, 
our next pages here. And we're getting our um, the next pages of movies. Awesome. So this is working for us. Um, now we can kind of move to the previous page, which will essentially just be the same thing here. So we can copy and paste that down to the previous page, and we'll just set it to um, down one, essentially it's subtracting. So if we typed in Wonder Woman, we went up, then we went back down, it would work. But if we typed, if we to try to do a previous page, we'd get this kind of ugly error because we're getting a few kind of ugly errors here. We would get this ugly error here, and that's the same as if we were to um, go, yeah, and it kind of just broke our whole thing here. So that's obviously not something we want, so we should set some restrictions here. So I think the first thing that we'll want to do is on our previous page, we want to say, and uh, we don't want the previous page button to work once it's hit one, right? So we can just say, and this dot state dot page num um, is not equal to one, I believe. So now if we reload that, this isn't gonna hurt us here. Um, it won't do this at page one, but if we go back, it'll keep doing it and it's not gonna hurt us. So, um, but the next page will still work and the previous page will still work, but it won't kill us after we've, um, <laughs> I guess I can't really talk right now, uh, hit, re-hit the page one. So now I think we can do something similar here, and this is kind of where our total pages comes in. Um, we want to check if this dot state dot total pages um, is, uh, or if no, sorry, if this dot state dot page num is less than dot state dot total pages. So we don't want to hit the very end, um, which is right. I was checking my notes there real quick a little bit, but so this will prevent us from hitting the very end. And let's console.log um, our movies out and see if we're hitting, or actually let's do our state, sorry. So here we have our full state. Um, if we do woman, we have our total pages is 73, right? So, but if we did, let's say we did wonder woman, that gives us one page. So this will not break when we're clicking next page either. So now both of these buttons are functioning nicely like we want them. Um, and our page is looking good. So thank you guys for uh, coming and tuning in and I will leave my code in the description or I'll leave the github repo link in the description if you'd like to check it out further. Thank you very much.